In this video, we're going to talk about contact management within Perfect Mind. So managing the contacts you have in the system, adding new contacts, and so on. Now, the one thing you should know is that if you are coming from another system or you were tracking your current contacts, let's say on an Excel spreadsheet, uh, we're able to actually import that data into this area. So you don't have to manually enter in your contacts. Uh, now, you can speak to your success coach about that, uh, and it's certainly just an issue of getting the Excel spreadsheet. Uh, they will explain the process, uh, and from there, they can upload all of your contacts to Perfect Mind. Now, we're currently looking at the contact area here, and the first thing we need to be aware of is the view. So we have all contacts here. So we've got former students, leads, active students, everybody's mixed in here together. Now, we can change those views along the left here. So if we just wanted to say, see our active students, we could do that by simply selecting the active students view. From here, we only see the active students. And likewise, former students, or if we just wanted to see leads. And we can also create new views. Um, if you're interested in creating new views, uh, I suggest attending our live training classes. And again, just uh, consult with your success coach on exactly how to access the live training classes uh, as we offer them four times per day, five, ta five days per week. Uh, or you can simply call the customer support line. They can direct you to those classes. Now, should we want to add a new contact here, we can simply click the plus sign. And then from there, we can enter in our contacts information. So we have first name. Let's say, for instance, it's myself. Now we have the type along the right here. So by default, the type is always going to be a lead. And essentially, anybody you enter in the system uh, would generally be a lead, somebody who's interested uh, in, say, for instance, getting a membership. You can change the type, though, to active student. And should an active student leave, you could change them to a former student. From here, we can select all of the pertinent information here. Uh, and one note about this, it's very important to get as much information on the contact page as possible, uh, like say, for instance, gender, uh, and say, for instance, birthday. These are the things we want to know, because if we were to ever send out an email blast to say, for instance, all of our female students who are over the age of 40, well, we need to know these things. We would need to know the gender. We would need to know how old they are in order for Perfect Mind to separate them from from your other contacts. So as much information as possible. Um, obviously, we have the contact information, their address, phone number, email address. Uh, things like enrollment date uh, will automatically fill in for you. You can put in medical conditions, belt size, and so on. We have their last attendant date, which the system will automatically generate for you. Uh, the system will obviously track the attendance rating. If you're not familiar with this, uh, I suggest watching the attendance rating video. Uh, we can see when they were last promoted, and we can see their marketing as well, because we'll be able to see uh, what campaign uh, they came in through, so we can track the success of our marketing. From there, we would fill in all the pertinent information and simply click Save. Now, from here, we can sell a membership. We're able to edit the information as well. And when we want to view our contacts, in this case, this contact would be a lead, so we would change our view to either all contacts or leads down here. But we can simply find our contacts now by just typing in their first or last name. So in this case, I would type my first name, and I can find myself right here uh, under Keith McGregor. That should be this one right here, because this is the one we just entered in. And we can select the contact. And again, I have all my information right in front of me. I can edit this information again and sell a membership directly from here. Now, in terms of selling a membership, uh, we do have a video video on that. The video is called Selling Memberships. Uh, and that will explain the whole process on, in terms of adding a membership to a contact. 